Hey, what's up, everyone? So we are now here at Skytree in Crete. And you're actually seeing the halfway point right there. The top of it is so high up, you can see past it. Uh, it is the tallest man-made structure in Japan and one of the tallest in the world. It's a little over 400 meters, I believe. So basically the view from the very top. at least 450, I think. Yeah, so basically the view from the very top. View. But I think the top was 500 or something like that. Yeah, but from the highest point you can get to, it's basically like looking out of the window of a plane when you're kind of flying over the city if you're that high up. And yes, we will be giving you those wonderful vertigo shot inducing shots. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna head on up. So right now we're at the uh, first uh, observatory uh, layer of Skytree. It's 350 meters up. Uh, to put that in perspective, the new Godzilla, the Planet of the Monsters Godzilla, is 300 meters. And the original Godzilla, all the way through the Showa era, that's 54 through 75, was 50 meters. So basically, the only thing keeping us from the top of the new Godzilla's head is the old Godzilla standing on top of him. So that just kind of gives you a sense of just how high up we are. Um, and yet, there's still another level higher up still. So as a vertigo inducing as this is, uh, you literally haven't seen anything yet. So we'll do some more filming around this layer and then we're gonna make our way up to the top top just probably just before sunset so we can capture like sunset and then night uh, from up there so stick with us tower itself goes higher than that but this is the highest point we can get to the sun is starting to set so we're gonna try to get some uh, some video of us with the setting sun so I don't know where you guys can see it I'm gonna try to blow it up a little bit but right there on that mountain you're seeing uh, just to the right of the setting sun is in fact Mount Fuji. It's kind of getting blown out a little bit because of the sunlight. But yeah, no, so it's kind of nice from our perspective. We can probably see it better than you, but the sun is setting behind Mount Fuji, so that's a really, really cool, epic, you know, end of movie 
postcard <laughs> shot, uh, uh, which you don't really get from this high up. So it's just kind of really cool. And again, it's just to the right of that, you see the buildings. Again, that is Shinjuku, with that tall, pointy one being right next to our hotel. So that's kind of cool. We have our hotel, Fuji, and the setting sun. Pretty epic if I do say so myself. And I do. Today special. Uh, so apparently, we didn't know this before coming here, but it's the, uh, they're doing a special event for the 30th anniversary of Macross. And they That's a uh, Robotech for all you uh, Americans yeah. out there. Yeah, but uh, they've got a little gift shop where you can buy stuff. Yep. They've got, I think they have a cafe. I saw a little pamphlet they gave us. But uh, they've got some original art behind us, like. Uh, Which we're not really allowed to photograph, so we're just gonna kind of keep it like this. But yeah. Behind us, yeah, there's it's essentially. Really beautiful. Yeah, I know we probably shouldn't be doing this, but it is so gorgeous to look at. So you guys can look at the bottom. A little bit, you can make out some of it. <laughs> and uh, they've got some of the toys, like the figures and stuff here yeah. you can buy. But they have a bunch set up down there, and as you walk up around. Um, was it in this floor or the the normal the below one? I can't uh, remember. It's up here, but it's on the. Oh yeah, when you first get up to the the highest deck, I think they call it Tembo or Gallery or something. Yeah. Uh, all along, we took some video or tried to take some video and pictures, but they've got a bunch of the all the series, the characters and stuff. It's it's just. And then yeah. when you first walk in, obviously all those TVs playing the different ones. And if you notice, uh, the further back you go in the Macross franchise the better it looks. Then you yes. get to like what the late 80s with the very first few Macross and that beautiful, beautiful 80s, early 90s style, which is just, you know, I don't know. I'm a, I guess I'm a, I'm a retro guy when it comes to anime, but uh, the old stuff is so choice. Yes. But yeah, no, it basically shows you kind of the whole uh, expanse of the franchise. That's yeah, what so we really looked at it. And we got some cool swag yes, that we, did. we didn't intend to buy. Nope. We thought it was going to be expensive enough as it is just coming up here with it. It's like, oh look, a gift shop with like your favorite thing in there. I think the only thing that would have made this more special for you if it was like a sailor room thing. Or a pretty here, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Macross is really cool though. Yeah. Because obviously, almost, like besides Macross Frontier, a lot of people haven't really watched it because it's just not really available. In America. Yeah. Or not even streaming because of all that bullshit copyrights yeah and there's a whole stuff. Like, rights issue so unfortunately but, we get Robotech out there which is like a weird Frankenstein monster of like across and a few other series so but for a lot of you guys who are into anime I'm sure you've, you've 
watched Macross, or at the very least are aware of what Macross is. So yeah, it's basically it's basically a Gundam for girls, as some people Not say. Not necessarily. No, I, I, I they like just it. always hey, have I like, like a, a singing element to it, which I always loved. Well, no, that's cool. But then every cool. every it's season cool. or every series of it, it's, it's like a cool theme. Got like, their robots. The robots. <laughs> no, I like Macross. I'm down with it. You, you got me into Macross. Yeah. I'd always heard of Gundam and all that. I actually recently started getting more into Gundam too, so I've slowly been getting more into mech stuff. So, but yeah, no, across, across for the win. Very, yep. very cool. So the last time I was here, uh, we were here, um, Shin Gojira was still in production. It was probably still filming, maybe going into post-production. And uh, we're about here somewhere. And uh, um, there was a helicopter hovering. And I was thinking uh, it might be filming for the movie. And when we saw the trailer for the movie, there was a shot that looks like it would have been shot from about that angle. Uh, just the irony now that the Godzilla movies are in production are being made in America. So I finally come to Japan and now the productions have all moved back where we come. So, oh well. Wow. So we just completed our Sky Tree uh, adventure. We went all the way up to the tippy top. Um, well, well, the, the high as you can, you know, you're, they let you go. We didn't like, you know, King Kong our <laughs> way up to the top or anything. But uh, I'm, built, I'm built for it. Um, but yeah, no, it was fun. It was, you know, we had a pleasant surprise with the um, Macross 30th anniversary up there. We had no idea that was going on. So that was kind of cool. So now that we get to go back to Sky Tree, but we got to kind of, you know, experience a bit of our fandom as well. It was a nice kind of joint thingy. But it was a lot of fun. Um, 
I'm definitely, 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 whether you, you like doing touristy stuff or not, uh, come to Japan, definitely come to Skytree. It's, you know... And get, there's a whole mall underneath, by the way. Yeah. And so, then an aquarium right next to it. Yeah, so if nothing else, there's plenty of other I mean, things to do. But just the experience of being, you know, that high up and not being in a plane <laughs> is... Uh, I know it's one for the ages, so definitely, definitely, Skytree is a must, must see while you are here in glorious Nippon.